Thank you, Urban. Vanessa, stress can't separate us. The only thing that does that is when she does stuff that's the uncalled devil. for. The devil tries to separate. The devil has nothing to do with your actions. The your actions are your own actions. Claim them. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're not going to do mail this evening. We'll get the we're mail. We're not going to do a sale this evening. We'll get the mail next Sunday for sure. Okay. And and there is plenty of it. But we'll... Hey, guys. What is up? Quad State Cameras back for another one. Finally. If you're, in case you're wondering, it's 50 degrees where I'm at in the Chicagoland area. May 31st, 2024, 6.50 a.m. This is actually my third version that I was working on. I wasn't sure the angle that I was going to go with it. Everything kept changing on uh, the whole the whole front with the legal aspect. Uh, finally got it done. Okay, so basically there was something that uh, I noticed on here. The preceding clip that you saw was from the now unavailable live that originally aired February 25th. It was a live where uh, Jeremy was heated because of the situation. A lot of stress. The Thomasus was uh, messing with him legally. It, uh, you could see it. You, you could see it compared to how he is in most of his videos. How he how he is and uh and you could see it in in uh George's face too you you can just kind of you can kind of read that they're going through through stuff and he said some things that he probably shouldn't have said I think I mean they're still together I think they are <laughs> they uh that's the whole that was like one of the things that got me going because I just saw the last video that just aired yesterday on the 30th and it, there was something that kind of caught my my uh ear now this video the um there was a lot of talk on this one when it first came out they said that uh someone said that george walked off she she never did walk off the whole the whole thing in my opinion she was just concentrating on the comments looking at the comments that they that were coming in probably the super chats they do get quite a few of them they get a lot they don't seem like much. They get some large ones here and there, but they get like two, two dollar one, five dollar ones. Over the course of a live feed, that adds adds up. According to him, that goes to charity. But um, this live feed was different than anything that they've ever done before, probably because of all the stress. They clip if you saw, because he was talking about the stress that she puts on him. And then she was trying to blame it on the devil. And then he said, no, you can't blame it on the devil because it's, uh, you know, you got to take, you got to take ownership for it is what he said. He's kind of right. It's kind of like the people that uh, overeat. They eat a lot of bacon. They eat a lot of stuff they shouldn't be eating a lot of. And then when they get the uh, health, uh, cons the health problems <laughs> that come later from doing that, oh, then they blame it on the devil. Not everyone does that, but quite enough uh, do. Anyway, there was like some things I wanted to talk on this one. This one here, um, I do fully support him. I hope that he does win this case fully. I don't want to jinx it. It looks like it's going his way finally, but still it's not It's not quite there yet. I'm not really sure how. I mean, you can take that as, as you, you wish. I hope he wins, but um, I'd be cautious to, to kind of really put all my money on it that that will actually happen i hope it does i truly hope that it does let's talk about some other causes of stress to jh in addition to the stress that's caused to him from lp and john c and the stress that he says that george causes him he's got the stress claiming that he's concerned about um thomas collinson's father getting out of jail which is going to happen later this year I personally think that that's going to be a non-issue. At least I hope it is. As of yet, nobody has really been able to uh, point to me a video that shows what it is exactly that Thomas Collins did. Furthermore, nobody's ever able to actually point to me the specific law that Collins supposedly broke videotaping Jeremy and George in front of the town hall. They keep coming up with this thing about being on private property and 
filming someone that's on a public property, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the only thing that came close that I found, I found a law in Florida that you can't, you can't film somebody in public and then use it in a commercial. So you, so in other words, if I was like a, some ad guy and just filming people, I couldn't put that, the I couldn't put it in a commercial, like a beer commercial, I guess. I would have to get the actors, probably get them to sign waivers and shit like that. And before I bring this video to a close, I may as well just bring up something else that concerns me. There's some uh, talk that people, that, that Jeremy will actually hire bodyguards to get LP and JC up to Ohio if they don't go on their own. Now, first off, if they have hardship, I'm not sure how they're going to get up there. Gas is like four plus a gallon. And I guess if they have to, it's it's kind of like uh it's kind of like everything else. If you if you can do it, you can do it. If you can't, you can't. Now, will they be able to get an arrest warrant for uh for them to to bring them up to Ohio? I am not sure. I'm not a lawyer. I was hoping that DUI guy plus maybe some of the other people that are more knowledgeable and I can weigh on this weigh in on it. I was trying to get the armed fisherman involved. Because he's a Florida guy, he might know. I'm not really sure for, for a misdemeanor, which this is still, of course, is still a misdemeanor. If they will, if Florida will honor arrest warrants for that. Okay, so the whole issue with getting a bounty hunter, I don't think that a bounty hunter in Florida can act on their own. A bounty hunter, I do believe, has to get the consent of the sheriff the sheriff actually basically is going to go right along with them to get that guy and if they don't then it's not a legally sanctioned bounty it's more of a kidnap and if that were to happen it can get ugly because jc is armed i guess lp is too and they would be well within their rights of defending themselves one thing about florida for all its problems they have wonderful stand-your-ground laws. So if someone tried to take them uh, unwillfully, they could probably unalive such person and get away with it in court. But then again, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. I hope, I'm hoping DUI Guy Plus can weigh in on that. Or maybe one of the other lawyers. Hell, maybe Jeremy can ask his lawyers to see if, if that would work and then weigh in on the subject. Also important to note that if he did try to pay bounty hunters to do it legally, if he can get it done legally, that's one thing. If he tried to do it illegally, and I don't think he will do that because that would put him on the other side of the law, that uh, he could be held responsible for that too. So I'm hoping that he makes a wise decision. I'm actually confident that he will. He might not like it, but... Uh, he might have to just kind of leave it alone if they don't make their way up to Ohio and uh, and he can't get a bounty hunter to uh, work on this. Now, it does change if they start getting into felony territory or if they start causing problems in Florida where they're in jail in Florida. That changes. I think if you're already in jail, Florida will be more than willing to let Ohio extradite them because in their mind, um, Ohio can pick up that expense of feeding them and clothing them, medical expenses, all that shit. That's the way I would look at it. Now, for all of you that are still here, the business at hand. The first thing I'm going to show you is a video that was in the beginning that showed the live that is no longer available with George and Jeremy over there. Then it's going to cut into the a snippet, a small snippet of a current What the Hales video that kind of uh may or may not have some say on uh why why this is uh why they're not really there no more why george is never in hale's headquarters anymore here you go enjoy thank you urban vanessa stress can't separate us the only thing that does that is when she does stuff 
the that's devil, uncalled for. The devil tries to separate. The devil has nothing to do with your actions. The your actions are your own actions. Claim them. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're not going to do mail this evening. We'll get the we're mail. We're not going to do a sale this evening. We'll get the mail next Sunday for sure. Okay. And and there is plenty of it, but we'll. See, contact the bar. And there are others in authority positions that know about all of this. They are watching, as is Craig DeThomas's. He's watching every single thing. And you're going, do you have proof? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got proof. The real Karsten wants to know, this trial has caused so much emotional stress, uh, financial stress, it's corruption 101. How do you stay so positive? Well, I think the answer is pretty easy. There's so much humor in it. Now, I will 100% tell you it's extremely stressful. And you should surround yourself with people who actually handle stress well. And frankly, there are people that are around me that do not handle it well. They actually, they actually make it worse. But there are other people around me that handle it really well and they help make things better. So the important thing is you hang out with those people who actually help you make it better. There's a lot of humor in this. Everything from Lynette saying her mom died, her mom did So did die. you hear that? He has people around him that cause him stress. And he decided that he's only going to hang with people that don't cause him stress. It is what it is. Hey, if you like the video, you know, give me a give me a uh, a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you want. I don't care. Uh, comment. Ask me a question. You can call me an a hole. If you can, I'm still looking. I'm still looking for someone who can quote to me. Give me the actual statute that Thomas Collins broke. All right. I don't. No one. No one's done it yet. Uh, I think that is it for this video. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm in Chicago. You know, the weather's getting warmer in Chicago. The way the warmer, the weather gets warmer and people start unaliving themselves. I actually have a security detail. I might, I, I, I might be able to show you some of that later on in another video, but, uh, we'll see. Right, yeah. So like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. I got another video I'm working on. This one is another one that some people may not like in otter creek i don't care i'm gonna come out with it there are questions that must be answered like subscribe comment tell me what you think all right oh and i'm not a troll all right i i'm i am not a troll i would rather i'm the guy that'll just kind of tell you how it is as opposed to a yes man that'll just kind of uh agree with you and the whole thing sinks because you didn't get the right information the guy that's going to tell you the truth that's me Quad State Cameras, report for duty. I am out. Take care, guys. I've been up all night. I haven't slept. Take care.